In this video, I'm going to show you how to use OpenAI's chat GPT and automation to scale out the written portion of your content marketing program. So let's do this. Now, video content is the cornerstone for creating a scalable content marketing plan. You can record long form content. You can create clips from that content, and then you can distribute that to social media. But there is a written portion of this content that needs to be taken care of. And then there are platforms that are strictly written only, like Twitter, for example. But if you're publishing video to LinkedIn or Facebook or even YouTube, you still have a written portion of the content that you need to write out that is going to accompany the video. And a lot of the times on these platforms, sometimes people will only read the written portion of it. They won't even watch your video. So now let's talk about how we can use ChatGPT and automation to scale out the written portion of this content marketing program that is gonna accompany all this video we're creating. So I use Airtable to store all my content. This has made it extremely simple for me to organize and track all of the content that I've ever created with direct links to my copy, images, and the media. And I've always had the ability to use this system to take the videos that I record and automatically transcribe them into text. I have some simple automations that I use that trigger an Airtable, a process in Zapier that transcribes all of that video content, but that still requires a good content writer to come in and look at those transcriptions and turn them into something that's readable that someone like you or I would actually read. And if you think about a YouTube video that's 10 minutes long, that's a long transcription to summarize down into a short description. And then if you think about the short little video clips that you're taking from longer form content, sometimes those those clips start in random places and end in random places, so the transcription can be out of context. So it takes a really good writer and a lot of time to take those transcriptions and make something meaningful out of them. So what I did is I took my normal transcription process. This is a zap I made from Zapier that takes the transcript from Descript and ultimately dropped that transcript into a Google Doc. There's a few intermediate steps here, but they're not that important to this video. But instead of just taking the transcript and directly inserting that into the document, I sent the transcript to OpenAI ChatGPT. And if you see what I'm doing here, all I'm doing is using the event send prompt. If you've used the web version of ChatGPT, this is simply sending it a request, sending it a message to do something for you. And really what I'm asking it to do is really not that complicated, but it's interesting in the description and the specificity that you can do in your request. So what I asked it to do is to rewrite the video transcription in quotes, and then I took the transcribed text that we got back from step one into copy. And I asked it to keep it under 1500 characters, not to add hashtags, and to make each sentence short and punchy, and then also to put each sentence on its own line with a blank space in between each sentence. That's really just to make it more readable when we actually publish it and to reduce the amount of work that I have to do to it after it's done its work. And then I gave it a few directives to keep it in my personality. I said, make it matter of fact, straight to the point, just like an INTJ. I'm an INTJ and as it processes the video transcriptions, which are in my voice, I wanted it to keep in mind who I am as it summarizes that content. This is kind of funny. I said, make it sound like I care without saying it. So sometimes I can come across as a little dry. So I wanted to make sure there's a little warmth in the message that it comes from. I don't want it to come across too robotic. And then this is interesting as well. I said, use copywriting techniques from Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Shorts to make it compelling. So I wanted it to use one of the great copywriting books to reference as it processes all this text into a paragraph such that it's gonna be compelling written content. So that's all I had to do. And then ChatGPT takes care of everything else. And then instead of taking the transcription and putting that in the document, now I can just take the written content and push that into the final Google Doc and then update my Airtable database with that information. So I happen to run this automation on a ChatGPT video that I did a few weeks back. So if I take a look at the copy and I click this, here we can see the output from ChatGPT. And then just for reference here, I have the original transcription. And so it took this entire transcription, analyzed it and then helped me write a final YouTube transcription that I can quickly clean up. So there's a few formatting issues that I can take care of pretty quickly here. I can update little things like this. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what it wrote. Transform text content into powerful posts with ChatGPT. Now it did miss the fact that these are video transcriptions, so I can add that back in. Transform video transcriptions into powerful posts with ChatGPT. In this video, I'll show you how to take transcriptions and turn it into social media posts for platforms like LinkedIn. Plus I'll create a YouTube description for the process. So that's what I did in the previous video and it summarized it 
perfectly, aside from missing this one piece, the video transcriptions. It says, here's what you'll learn, how to edit text for maximum impact, tips to avoid becoming a copycat, the importance of maintaining a unique perspective, and what happens if you don't stay ahead of the curve. So these are all things that I talked about in that video as it relates to making an impact, using chat GPT, but also avoiding becoming a copycat and losing your unique perspective in the process of using AI. And I also talked about what happens if you don't stay ahead of the curve. What happens if you don't learn how to use some of these AI tools to better yourself and your business and your clients? See how ChatGPT can help you craft content that stands out and get ahead. Watch now and see how AI can help you create faster, better, and cheaper. So that's pretty amazing, right? I can use my system. I can record a video. I can put that into my system. My system can create the transcription and then can send that to chat GPT. And then from there, I can take that answer, put it into a Google Doc, put it back into my system, and then facilitate and automate the workflow to get that written content out to multiple social media platforms. And the options here are really quite endless. I could take the same text. I could say, hey, go ahead and create me Twitter threads. Go ahead and create tweets. I can have it create longer descriptions for my TikTok videos. TikTok will allow you to add a written portion to every video that you create. It can be up to 2,000 characters, which describes what your video is about. And they are using that content for SEO purposes, for when people are searching for things on the app. So now you can take advantage of that. So there's really an endless number of ways that you can take your original video and then have chat GPT automatically convert that into written text that you can distribute out to multiple written platforms or even strengthen the written content that you are using on video content. And then from within my system, I can go ahead and mark that copy done once I've gone through and cleaned it up. And then I can go to my distribution tab and then I can automatically distribute this content, the written and the video to multiple social media platforms. So there you go. If you found this video valuable, make sure to check out the next one. I use the web version of ChatGPT and I describe how to ask it questions. How do you ask it something? How do you give it information so that you can get back what you need from it? I go in depth on how to use ChatGPT on the website, which will help you use it when you're doing automations. Check out that next video and let me know what you think. I'll see you there.